You've had a good 2015 break into the top 50. How are you feeling about your game in general? It's all about confidence, mate. And I've, um, the confidence is coming and coming, and it's just a matter of working on doubles. And when they come in, I feel like I can now jump that ladder again. We've yet to make it past the second round here. Do you think you have a good chance of doing that this time round? Um, yeah, you've always think you've got a good chance. You know, it's, um, it depends on how it comes out in a day. And if I play well enough on a day, I think I can get through. Yeah, you've obviously hit a nine darts over here before. Can we expect to see a near one in one the near future? Well, let's hope. Um, I've, um, I try every, every chance I get, and if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. But um, I, I really think I can. And finally, what's your favourite thing about playing the Alexandria Palace? I'd say um, probably the crowd. To be honest, uh, being from Australia, we don't get this sort of crowd until the Sydney Masters and Perth Masters came in. But to play in front of this and to have everybody back home watching you at something like three o'clock in the morning, um, you must feel special if someone stays up that long to watch watch the darts. So no, but it's it's uh, just to be on this stage. This stage is world renowned, and, and to be on this stage, that, that's it. It's Thanks, God bless. You. Right, cheers, mate. You've got a lot of support in Australia. I mean, how proud does that make you to be here and flying the flag? Um. It always makes you proud to be to do anything for your country, you know. You just um, not just starts, but an ambassador in, in any way. So um, I've always, I've always loved playing for Australia. For, you know, the green and gold when you put it on, it's just it's a different, if a diff different story. So, um, but no, it, we're very popular back home. I mean, my face was going to go rampant when I get back, and uh, I'll be busy for the night, I think.